Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit of a chill video. We're gonna relax just a little bit because I'm not feeling so good. It's that time of the month and I woke up with a horrible backache. So we have a little bit of stuff that needs to be done around the house, but other than that, we're just gonna chill out and I'm just gonna sort of show you how I do a relaxed day in the life when I still need to be a mom, still need to get things done, but I'm also not feeling great myself. And I'm gonna show you just a few home remedies that I use when I'm not feeling great and when I have cramps or a backache and I still need to get stuff done. So first thing we need to do is go downstairs, obviously, and make coffee. I'm going to make the special coffee that Tiffany Beeston makes with whipped cream because it's that kind of a day and it's that time of the month and I need that and that's fine. <laughs> you gotta be good to yourself, you gotta love yourself, you gotta treat yourself to those things. As long as you do everything in moderation, everything is fine and it's gonna be fine. So <laughs> let's see. Um, oh, I want to share with you guys, if you saw my last video, then you know that we had a pretty rough week last week, and after Mason got out of the ER, I was feeling really defeated, and Mason looked at me and said, he hugged me and he said, nothing is ever really wrong as long as you have me, and I was like, wow, if those aren't the truest words ever spoken, I don't know what is. So I just want to share that with you guys before we go downstairs and make some coffee and I show you a couple things that we're going to do for the day. I'm going to give you a little bit of a real house tour and show you what's going on around here because it's a little insane, but it's not too bad. And then we're going to get going. All right, guys, let's get downstairs. Okay, you guys saw the oils that I used. I used, oh, I'm clumsy today. So I used Purity, is that what it is? Purify, which smells a lot like lemons and cloves. It's super refreshing. Let me see if it says on the back. Yeah, okay, so it says that there is cloves, lemon, cinnamon, eucalyptus, rosemary, lemongrass, and myrtle oil. But then I like to add a little bit of extra lemon in there because it just makes it smell just that much cleaner and fresher and that's what I need right now. Yes, we have a little troll with a little jewel in his belly. Mason was playing with him this morning and messing with his hair. He actually hangs out next to the money tree. And if any of you have a money tree, the toilet's still out there, guys. Side note. Um, okay. <laughs> if you don't know what that's about, I will link the video above. But 
Back to the money tree. If any of you have a money tree, let me know what it means when part of it splits and you're just left with one section. I heard that it means that your finances are splitting with your partner. So I don't know what that means for Paul and I, but that's what I heard it means. But if that's what it means, my side is flourishing. Shoot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway, so the little troll lives there. What I really wanted to show you guys is, not my keys, you guys have seen my keys, okay. What I really wanted to show you guys is my hot water bottle. So I know this is kind of old school. I don't even know if a lot of you guys have these. My father-in-law ordered this for me from, I want to say Vermont Country Store. And Mason actually loves it. But when it's that time of the month for me, uh, this really comes in handy. And I'm hurting really bad today. Um, let me move these. Mason's artwork. Anyway. Um, I am hurting really bad today. My back is killing me. And so I am going to fill up this hot water bottle with super hot water from the sink. And then this is just a nice little slip cover that it goes in. And I'm going to lay on that with my back because my back hurts so bad. It's not cramps in the front. It's just stiffness in the back. So that's what we are going to do with this. And I just want to show you guys that because this works wonders. It's just like a heating pad and we do have a heating pad, but you know, I forget to turn that thing off and it sometimes it gets too hot and this thing is awesome. So that's a little tip. I don't usually fall for someone. I don't even care who I run from. Here I'm just showing you how I put the water bottle inside of the water bottle pouch or holder and it can be really hard because the water bottle is rubber so I just flip it inside out and then use the same technique that I use to put my pillowcases on. If you guys missed that video I will put the link above but it's a really easy trick. I'm sure you can get them on Amazon so if I can find a link I will leave a link below for you for sure. So let's talk about the real life on the countertop, right? You guys see the house a lot when it's pretty clean. And yes, it's not bad right now, for sure. It has definitely been worse and you guys have seen that. But we have a little bit of clutter going on on the countertop. I need to write down what I'm going to do today. I'm not gonna do much because like I said, I'm in a lot of pain and I just need to relax today. Uh, I'll probably fold some laundry and maybe make the bed. I really don't want to because I want to lay in it, but yeah, I'm gonna declutter a little bit around the house. I, the main thing I really wanna do is take all of this and organize it and then get it in the car. This is all of our fall stuff that I had downstairs. There's still a few more pieces that, look you guys, there's a puzzle back up. Let me hit the lights for you. Puzzle again. Let's see what we're doing today. Cute. Mason knocked it over this morning, whatever. So there's still a couple things that need to come down, like this wreath that Mason made last year and this harvest sign. He needs to clean this again, but you guys can see this is a lot better than it was before. And the darkest room in the house. I think I got everything down from here. So the house is okay, but it definitely needs to just be straightened up and taken care of a little bit. Mason needs to bring these upstairs. The never-ending purging begins. <laughs> I had Mason go through all of his books and he picked out a bunch of books to donate to the little free library at school. And then we have this pillow that we need to give away of Batman. And I also started 
taking down all of the fall decor. So this is what has been taken down from upstairs. There's still a few pieces that need to be taken down and then I can go through and redecorate for Christmas. Our elf is back. Do you guys have an elf? Yep, we do. And oh, well, we'll talk about that later. Okay guys, send help. This is the current laundry situation after the Thanksgiving break. And I did do laundry over Thanksgiving, okay? I don't want you to think that I didn't, but this laundry situation, oh my goodness. I didn't do laundry on Sunday because we were gone. And then Monday I did like two loads and um yeah so i just dumped that out this is paul's laundry that i'm sorting i always sort the laundry before i do it so i put paul's laundry into this ba uh, basket and then i put my laundry into this basket if i'm lazy and i'm not going to do it but i am going to do it today because it's going to make me feel amazing to get it done and then mason's laundry goes back here in his room and when he gets home we will fold this together and he'll put it away. Okay, let me show you the system that we have going for him. It is incredibly insane in here. We have been trying to go through stuff and get rid of things for Christmas, as you guys know, so we can get more stuff in here. But anyway, we have a system where he puts most of his clothes in here and then he puts a lot of his clothes that he's gonna wear throughout the week in here. So he puts like long sleeve pants, Sorry, that's what he calls them. He puts pants in there. He puts his long sleeve shirts in here, things like that. And that's because it's been raining. So that's what he's been wearing. Now, when it's summer, he puts the opposite short sleeves and shorts in there. <laughs> So you've seen the house, you've seen the destruction, it's actually not that bad. But I am going to write a list of stuff that needs to be done. Like I said earlier, this is just going to be a really relaxed day because I'm not feeling very well. If anything, I'll do vacuuming on the floors, but I don't think I'm going to mop. Um, so let's get that list done so that I know exactly what needs to get done and then we can start the cleaning. This is the notepad that I'm going to be using. It says morning, noon, and night. And this is just a good way right now for me to split it up because I'm not feeling great. I just don't want to do a lot and overdo myself. So I'm going to split it into chunks. Okay, so here's my list, and you can see I left a couple areas blank because I may have to fill some things in, but it's pretty much just vacuum, straighten up the house, and do the laundry. And then I also have, for dinner, we're gonna do ribs and mashed potatoes. Or maybe baked potatoes, depending on what Paul wants.
since Paul is supposed to be putting the toilet in any day now, I am not going to deep clean the toilet. I'm just going to wipe it down and we're going to call it good. The other thing that I wanted to show you that I always do when I'm not feeling very well, I'm having a backache or cramps, is I like to run a bubble bath with magnesium. And so this one has Himalayan pink salt, so it has a lot of magnesium in it. And then I also use the Epsom salt, which you'll see in a minute. But this is a bubble bath and then mixed with that and then the pure Epsom salt, there's a lot of magnesium as well as a lot of other minerals that really help to pull toxins out of your body, help to relax your body, remineralize your body, and just overall help to heal. So that is one trick and tip that I always do. And actually because my business is sort of helping people or it is helping people by being a tarot reader I definitely take Epsom salt baths at least three to four times a week just to help clear the energies I'm also going to light this candle and this is called Seaside Bungalow it's from Target it's one of my favorite candles because it actually reminds me of a lotion that I got in Catalina and I wore that lotion to the first Adam Lambert concert that I ever went to so little side note but a super special memory for me now I'm just going to vacuum up the floor and this is because my husband gets his beard hairs everywhere and I probably get my hair everywhere but you can't see it because it's platinum blonde. If you like that vacuum, it's a cordless Bissell. I love it and I always have it linked below. So now that that is done, I'm going to get my husband's big giant Humboldt sweatshirt on and I'm going to put my hat on and basically dress like we are in the Christmas story because it's raining outside and I'm a California girl that doesn't know how to handle this. So I'm still wearing my pajamas and it's off to pick up Mason. And then when we get back, we'll finish up and we will wrap this video up. I think it's going to be a long one. So if you guys need to pause it and get a beverage now's the time freezing outside a little bit high on the feeling can't see to focus in the corner of my best friend sofa you are getting by some rum and cola. So I got a few things done at the house, which you guys saw, thank goodness. I got the bathroom cleaned up and a few other things, some laundry things put together, so that's good. But then I had to run out and pick up Mason. And we've been starting this year where I can do drop off and pick up with him once a week. So he sometimes picks that we do drop off on one day and pick up on a different day. Sometimes he picks it for the same day. And this week he actually picked drop off and pick up for today, which was perfect because I'm not feeling well. I just dropped him off this morning at school and now I'm in the pickup line waiting to get him. So you guys saw that I just threw on my husband's big comfy sweater and it's gigantic on me and that's what I like right now because I'm not feeling so good. I am still wearing my pajamas. Um, if you guys like these pajamas, I got them at Costco. They were on sale for $14 and I'm wearing a size small. They didn't have a size extra small. I've never seen anything at Costco in a size extra small. So. If you guys see that at Costco, let me know because my Costco doesn't carry extra small. My Costco just carries small and up. So, what else did I want to tell you guys? Oh, okay, so I made a little bit of tea. I made a matcha green tea with raspberry um, just because I didn't want any more coffee. I'm already on two cups of coffee and I needed something warm because it's been really nasty here. It has been raining and storming and you know I'm really grateful that this is our kind of winter because in Northern California we don't really get a lot of snow. I mean there are places to get snow and we can drive like two hours away and get snow but we don't have snow here which is nice. We pray for rain, we love rain and every time we get rain it's a beautiful thing at the same time we complain about the rain because we're not used to it and I have to tell you that this last week where it's been really rainy I'm so confused on what you people wear that live in snow or live where it's really cold because right now I think it's like probably 53 degrees outside which is freezing to me so what kind of pants do you wear I tried to wear like my long johns or my leggings with jeans and I had to bump my jean size up because they just didn't want to go with the you know leggings underneath and I was still cold and I, 
I'm so confused right now on what you guys wear when it's really cold out. So if you're from a cold state, then leave a comment below and let me know what it is that you guys wear when it's cold, when it snows. Like, obviously I've been to the snow, I'm always cold, but you wear like a snow bib or something because you're just playing in it for a minute or else you're in your hotel or in your cabin or whatever. So that's the life of a California girl. <laughs> so, okay. Let's see, when we get back, we're going to finish up doing a couple other things. My father-in-law was getting up when I was leaving, so he will end up doing the dishes, which is totally awesome. There's like four cups and a couple spoons and knives, so that's fine. He's on the mend, he's feeling much better. The doctor wants him up and around and walking. I made him a giant pot of turkey soup last night, um, and I have to make another pot of that because I ended up putting in too much rice and it turned into turkey rice. So if you guys want me to tell you or show you how I do turkey soup, then let me know in the comments below. Other than that, we are going to head home as soon as Mason is in the car and we are going to finish up the cleaning. But before I let you guys go, I want to say one more thing. When I'm filming this, we are at approximately 630 subscribers and I would love for you guys to get another subscriber giveaway from me. Um, my last giveaway was a lot of fun and a awesome lady named Caroline won the bag that I have and I didn't actually bring the bag with me today because I didn't need it because I'm not getting out of the car but it's the same print as my keychain and it is a Louis Vuitton Neverfold dupe and it's an awesome bag. I don't think I'll give that away again but I'd like to give away something else. I'm thinking when we hit a thousand subscribers I would like to give away a hundred dollar Amazon gift card or a hundred dollar Target gift card. So if you guys are down for that then definitely comment below. Let me know what you guys would want to get as a giveaway and subscribe. The best thing that you can do for my channel because I'm a small channel is and especially with all the things going on and the COPPA laws and everything and if you haven't seen my last video I will put that link above but the best thing you can do and the most helpful thing you can do for my videos is like them share them and comment on them because that helps YouTube know that you like what you're seeing and that you want to see more YouTubers like me more real YouTubers more YouTubers that show you everyday life that drive around in their pajamas and do stuff like that so I really want to make this channel all about helping you guys and motivating you if you didn't see like I said the last video it goes into a lot about how this channel is going to be changing a little bit but it's still going to be motivational but it's just going to be a little bit different so definitely check that out and I'm gonna let you guys go because here comes Mason. But honestly, I wanna know what it is that's your passion or your drive in life. Is it art? Is it people? Is it communication? Is it money? Is it, what is it that makes you happy? What is it that makes you get up in the morning and strive for a better life? That's what I wanna know, so let me know. Hey, I don't get what this is about You got my head spinning on my shoulders I feel a burn inside of my chest See the lines that stay blur out I can feel it knocking me out You're bringing me higher and higher in every way And all of my thoughts I can feel them, they're fading
Here's Mason's room all finished. He put his bed together and put everything away. The only thing that we still have to work on is this little pile over here. And this is basically his arts and crafts supply area and his Sonic the Hedgehog slippers that I put there because you saw that I was vacuuming a minute ago. And then that laundry basket that you saw sitting outside of my room is actually his clean laundry. And so I folded that and he helped me organize his socks and put the socks away and fold it together. And then he put all of his clothes away. And now you guys, I'm going to end this video. It's time for me to get into a hot bubble bath using that bubble bath and the Epsom salt that you saw earlier because this mama is tired and I'm in a lot of pain. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, you already know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.